works for me. We're going into a re a stream rematch actually between Faye and Cathilla. Earlier in the season, they played on stream. I can't remember exactly what match day, but they ended 2-2, kind of surprising a lot of players in the Ami tier. As you know, Cathilla at the time, I'm pretty sure was the undisputed number one. Yeah, so no, that was a big, big game by Faye coming out there. And I remember watching that. Um, I might have even cast it. I don't remember. But Cathilla came out one game one real big. And then all of a sudden, Faye came back. I think one game two and four to even out the series. This well, is going to be a good game. It's definitely, there's definitely a lot going on. You know, one team really looking for maybe a little bit of revenge, you know, maybe get this series to put it under their belt and say, no, that last one is a fluke. We are the real deal. The Scathilla team is 25 wins on the season. I believe they're currently, t uh, actually, they should be in second place, if I remember right. I, be but I believe Brass is, a, is in first place right now. They are, and they're not too much further ahead, but this Faye team also has a chance. They started off really rough on the season. They kind of rebounded a little bit, and they're going, they're struggling over these last five match days, but with this, and I believe two more after, this is the right time of the season to really turn things around, to really make their way, hopefully, into the playoffs. So we'll see. And and I'll let you in on something too. Um, interesting match day for me because sorry to my team for when you watch this back, but obviously I got to root for my team. But I have said on and off, Faye is my favorite Ami team. They got a guy whose name is Tech, and I love saying Tech for MPP. Hmm. I couldn't possibly see how that you know you made that connection there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these player stats pulled up here, though. So, looking at the player stats, uh, Technic Music, like you were talking about, from Jaconum, 39.77% shooting, 35 goals on the season, looks to be phase leading scorer, which, you know, that's going to be something that you're really going to see out of an Amy team. One player really seems to take control. Anybody that's sticking out to you there, though, Tech4? Well... Been a lot of talk. Your girl's my side hoe. Uh, one of the more dominant players in Amy this season, among a couple others. 131 shots is is just insane in the Amy tier. Uh, 46 goals is crazy, but still putting up 29 assists with it. Obviously, the team is stepping in and doing a really good job around him, but side hoe having one heck of a season for himself. For sure, and if I remember right, uh, your girl's my side hoe, side hoe is actually leading the tier with an SBV of 101.6. One of the only triple digits to really happen uh, recently at all. Typically, you see that out of a player who's only got like four to eight games in a season. But for 44, your girl's my side hoe really stepping up and killing it for sure. So we'll see as we jump into the match here. Who's going to take this series and what storyline we're going to get for the rest of the season here? We're seeing only Slim God's Farm and your girl is my side hoe. I don't believe God Slim is one of their starters. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's their fourth. So only Slim is the uh, fourth. We have Death Muffins, who is our starter and our captain, but couldn't be here tonight. Set this up for the team, and Saito going to jump in there and get the goal. Nice pass out from only Slim. Going up, putting that off the backboard, and you're just not quite able to get a hold of that. That's what we teach our Amy players. Just put it off the uh, backboard, and good things will happen. For sure. I mean, especially putting the ball in an awkward situation for the opponents, but, you know, hey... If you make a mistake, I'm getting a goal. Definitely the right method to be teaching them right now. Slash Babo, able to get one touch and push it across, but God's Farm, fourth, able to push it over. That 50, oh wow, pushes it across in front of the goal. Goals my side hoe is going to put this off backboard. It's rolling high. Slash Babo puts it away. There's a double commit. Yerp, yerp, oh, yerp, yerp, with the response. Able to land and get to that ball in a way that I really didn't know if that was going to happen. 
good opportunity for God's Farm there. Not quite able to put it back. Oh, this ball's gonna go center, but there is no one really here that can put a shot on for Cathilla. Technic putting this ball off the corner. It's gonna fly up. Side hoe. Slash gonna meet. Slash gonna get the win there. But Slim's gonna be able to put that off to the wall. He's gonna follow this up to the corner. Excellent 50 there by Technic. He's gonna take control of it, but he's not gonna stay on this field. Side hoe puts the ball up, not quite able to get back to it. Here, here, will take control. Slim jumping in there, creating some havoc. Dogs farm coming in fast. No real opportunity though. Technic music's getting underneath uh, side hoe. But Slim puts that back to the back corner. Oof. Slim gets the center here. God's Farm unable to put the shot on net here. Your girl's my side hoe, though. Nope, that's cut out by Technic. Only Slim putting it back to your girl is my side hoe. Gets it past one. Can't get it past two. God's Farm has a chance for a shot. That's going to go over. You're, you're the fourth man coming out and playing like at least a starting three with that chip shot. Beautiful play. Yeah, God's Farm's having a fantastic season. Uh, he was part of the team last season that did win the championship. Coming back this season, been doing excellent. Slash Fabo setting a deep. Technique and Slash are both clumped up in the corner here, but neither is able to really put a shot on net. Here, here, swats it away. It goes into no man's land. God's Farm there, able to take it off of Technic Music's touch. Slim with the deep touch. That's going to go off backboard. We're gonna get a shot. Oh. No, it goes right underneath. God's farm. No, it's off the backboard. Flash is gonna take control of this, and if he can get that out center, there's an opportunity. Not quite able to. What a dunk by Yerp Your Technic Music is gonna take control of this. Jumping off the wall. That's on net. Slim with a fantastic save. That's a great shot. Slash Bobber. Or no, that's God's farm. He's gonna get a pass there. God's Farm getting it off the backboard again. Your girl's my side hoe. The double touch puts it off the backboard. Slims up. No, it's off the crossbar yet again. Your girl's my side hoe. Unable to get the touch there. God's Farm sending it deep. Slash Bobo returns it to center. Your girl's my side hoe is going to put it in the corner. I really expect a solid shot to be coming in here soon from Cathilla. Yeah, they're getting some pressure. They're getting some opportunities, but... Tell you what, Faye doing a really good job of just getting it off to the side and making sure there's nothing really available. Yerp Yerp is going to take control of this, puts it off center. Uh, your girl's my side hoe, comes up, puts it back down. Looks like Technic Music's going to come across. Not quite able to touch it off the first one. Does fake and flicks it over two. And looks like Technic Music's going to be able to get to this. But oh, and he gets the fake! Oh my goodness! That is so unfortunate for God's Farm. Oh, what a beautiful fake by Technic Music. <laughs> Woo! Can we get a kickoff here? Technic and God's Farm. Going kind of nicely over to Only Slim. Only Slim can't get the touch, though. The girls on my side hose able to follow. That drops into a dangerous spot. Technic can't get the ball. That goes off crossbar. No! Only Slim able to drop it center, but Slash is able to push it out. Slash, I go turn, put the center, can't. Your girl's my side hoe does a little bit of centering here. Yerp Yerp takes the shot, and that's going to go in to be the equalizer. A minute five left in the game. Yeah, a little mistake by uh, your girl's my side hoe. Puts it out in front, and Yerp Yerp. The opportunist just jumps right up. Easy for him, puts that right in the back of the net. Kickoff. A little win for Cathilla. Technic's going to be able to jump on this, but Slam with a nice dunk. God's arms up. Not quite able to get control of it. Here goes my side hoe. Back to himself. Center is going to pass that out. Anybody there? No one there. Yerp Yerp is going to take control. Slim with the dunks. Over Slash. God Star's coming in hot, but Yerp Yerp is going to get back to it. Technic Music is waiting. Here goes my side hoe with a little touchdown. Only Slim coming in hot. And big clear from Slash. It's not going to quite be in, but it's going to be very dangerous. Slash back up, going off the crossbar, but Yerp Yerp is there. Puts it in, and we have a 3-2 game. Faye taking the lead late in game number one. 
Well, and this is pretty wild, right? Fate traditionally struggles in game one of Mocha ma most match days. Uh, something that I was actually joking with him about last time we were talking. But as we get into this, the last 30 seconds of this game, they really seem to have figured a way to maybe get past those first game jitters. Yurp Yurp tries to go for the touch, can't, and leaves it for Technic. Technic gets the goal. They're up 4 2. Yeah, if Faye is playing this good in game number one, they're going to be scary for the rest of the series. Technic music with a great shot. And 19 seconds left to do something for Cthulhu. Scott's farm. Gonna lose it out to Technic Music. Ball's gonna go back in the corner. Slim's gonna be a little awkward on this one. Slash putting it back out. Technic Music buries it in again. Slash with a great pass there. You know, I know you said you like saying Tech for MVP, but I would say Slash right now. For sure, at least game one MVP, the savior and facilitator of their team, really getting the ball moving, orchestrating a lot of solid passes, and quite frankly, it paid off for a really solid victory right out the gate. Technic putting it off the corner there. Almost put it up 6-2, but we'll see. I guess we'll have to see going game two, what they're going to change around and how they're going to do. Yeah, putting up, looks like, nine shots for Cathilla. Only able to get two in. Uh, three saves coming out from Slash uh, Fobo. That's that's some big ones, and two assists as well. You don't see his name on the goal line, but that's a fantastic game by him. For sure, for sure. And, you know, you pointed it out, nine shots from Cathilla. Quite frankly, that's not something I'm used to reading for a stat line. This team is normally shooting closer to 40%. So we'll see kind of going into game two here how they're going to respond. I predict that your girls, my Saito and God's Farm are both going to turn things around a little bit here. But I'm not sure. I mean, I've been wrong plenty of times before on stream. Yep. I mean, this is Amy. Anything can happen. We know that. We've casted enough Amy games to... To absolutely just not have any idea what's going to happen. So three more games. I'm interested to see uh, where this this series goes. For sure. I don't see any subs here. Hopefully they're not waiting for us to tell them to go. They're totally fine to just jump. There we go. All right. We're getting the same lineup from Cathilla. Yerp, yerp, Technic Music. I don't see their third. So we'll see what's going to happen here. I'm not seeing any typing either. Ooh. Oh, are we going to try to make this work? Only Slim's on the wrong team. Ooh, how does that... I, I don't should, know. This I'm should probably be a remake, right? I, I think so. They're gonna call it, they need to call it soon. They've only got 38 seconds to do so. Yeah, looks to me like they're just planning on uh, playing on. I suppose here. Slash Bobo putting it off the wall. Technic might be able to get a touch here. Only Slim, a little bit of deja vu as he shoves it back into the same corner it's been in for the last 30 seconds. Your girl is my side hoe, putting it back into that same corner. God's farm back into the same corner here. Okay, we're fine. We're off this third here. Faye putting it down, able to initiate a good little counterattack here. Side is going to put that up over here, here, but the demo will give this back to Slash Fobo. Fabo, I've been corrected in the comments. Oh, Technic coming on up, puts that center, but Side Ho is there. He's going to go up with this. Can he get another touch? He can. And that's it. That 101 SBB really coming in clutch. Your girls by Saito able to take their own pass and put on that shot. This doesn't need, did not need a teammate at all whatsoever with their tech. I've just, your girls by Saito said, we're getting a goal here. I need it. Yeah, fantastic <laughs> play there. In the Amy level, be able to go up after your own ball. Few, uh, few players can do it. Saito obviously one of them. 
Technic Music. He's gonna pump this ball out real deep into the corner. Looks like he might be able to get back to this himself. Sideho just puts it up over. Slash Fabo gets the touch. Yerp Yerp's gonna come out. Good, good boom by him. Slim. Putting that back out. Ooh, not quite able to get it there, but Slash Fabo says he can go up as well. Not quite able to put that one in towards the net. Looks like they'll have time to get back to this. Actually, oh, God's Farm. Not quite able to flip the way he wanted to. Slash Fabo gets a nice touch out, but your girl's my side hoe. We'll put that there. And that was dangerous in the middle. Slash Fabo. Another great touch by him, getting that back out of the way. Technic Music's going to center this. No one's home. Slash Fabo not quite able to put it in the back of the net. God's Farm's going to put that over to the corner. That is unfortunate. I know it's Amy, but you need to take the easy shots here. That ball was probably going to be one of their best opportunities to score this early in the game. With 2.30 left, your girl's on my side hoe wins that split. Unable to follow it though, so your going to be able to put it into the corner here. Going towards the center. The double touch somehow gets it away from the goal. I don't, I can't actually fathom the two touches that just occurred here. Technic. Tries to get it past your girls on the side hoe, but side hoe gets the touch here. Only Slim tries to get possession, can't. Slash Fabo, as I have learned recently, uh, is able to get the touch here. It's going to go center. Side hoe able to take the shot. It goes off left. Technic's on an awkward spot. Oh, only, only Slim. Come in. God. Great pass by Saito. I know he was trying to score that, but does get enough on it to put it out center. And only Slim heads up play, jumping right up on it and put it in the back of the net. Keep in mind, game number one, Cathilla took a 2-0 two no two lead as well and lost. So this game is not over. God's Farm, another player that can kind of go up sometimes. Puts up to himself, not quite able to get back to it. Here, here, underneath this ball. And that ball's bouncing towards the net. Slash Fabo, another save for him. Have those stats and God's Farm, Fabo, kind of looking at each other here. Technic jumping up on that. Ball's gonna go safely to the corner. Yerp Yerp's gonna collect this. Actually, this touches that over to the side. Another shot, another opportunity. This time they jump in front of Slim shot there. Oh man, another great opportunity for Capilla. God's Farm gets it center. Technic though, able to get the clear. That was literally a goal if they could have only beat Tech. Tech putting it off the backboard, gets the Slash Fabo. Slash Fabo can't touch it. Your girl's my side is going to take the open net. God, sneaking the ball out the back door. My oh. goodness. And that's an opportunity there for Faye that they wish they could have back. That ball was out in front. Oh, man. It was so close. Slash Fabo. If they could have gotten the lightest touch, I don't think a goal would have occurred there in favor of Capilla. I mean, that, quite frankly, they might have been able to score. We might be seeing more of a 2-1 storyline as compared to a 3-0 response. Josh Fable is going to put that off the backboard. Jumps up for it, not quite able to get the extra touch. Slim is going to put this out back. Still on this ball. Yerp, yerp. With the clear. Fabo, putting that back out. God's Farm's not going to be able to touch this. Slim is. However, Fabo's going to put this off the backboard. Is there anyone there? Not quite. Yerp, Yerp now gets there. God's Farm, 50 in that out. Both players not quite able to get the touch they want, but oh, it was almost enough for Sideho slash Fabo. Another opportunity getting in there and pushing it away. Seven seconds left. Yerp, Yerp, putting that off mid. Slash. Not quite able to put that in, and that's going to be the end of game number two. Cathilla responded very well, working a lot better as a team, and quite frankly, your girls on my side, ho, really, really flexed that 101 SPV that they've already accumulated. Might be tacking on a little bit more here with a 538-point performance here in game two. Six shots, Tech. Six shots. Yeah, and, and realistically, of those six shots, I mean, two of them came out center to only Slim. Slim was able to put one in the back of the net, too. So it's not only the shots going in the net, but it's also the ones bouncing off and giving an opportunity for his teammates.
And it was a total flip of the storyline here. I mean, Faye didn't... Am I reading this right? Faye took zero shots that game. Not that a single is, one. That is absurd. Normally, like I mentioned earlier, they're a struggling first game te- uh, team. And then they kind of recoup and rebound for games two and three. This is this is totally a flip of the script. Game one, they played great. Game two, they no-showed. Yeah. Be interesting to see what comes out game number three. Like I said, it's Annie. Percent. 100% interesting. I am ready to see what we get out of game three here. Looks like we Same do have way. our players joining the right teams this time. and <laughs> That's always a good start. Oh, man. Hey, it's always a good start. Only Slim slash Fabo getting the split here. Might be able to get a shot from God's Farm. That pop over, though, leaves it for your girl's way side home. He's able to put it off the backboard. Slash Fabo follows, playing it a little bit more patient. Tries to cut it, be a little cheeky, get it behind your girl's way side home, but they read that with ease and were able to clear it away. Your beard. Side home, splitting the 50. God's Farm is able to follow. Might be able to get a touch to put it on target. Unfortunately, goes right over the ball. Tech, that could have been it. That was a great opportunity there. Just not quite able to put it in. However, on the other side, here goes my side home. Barely able to get to that. A little bit of a slow shot, but Slash Fable able to put that on net on the counterattack. Slash Fable is able to get another touch here. Keeps it alive. Technic putting it out in front. This ball's dangerous. Your pure stuff. God's farm able to put it off to the side. Technic waiting for a touch that does not come. Side is gonna turn out of the way. Slim's gonna take it over, but your pure gonna be able to put a shot on just high. Slash almost able to put it in. And your girl's by side hoe. Just hits it right down Main Street, and there's no one there. And this is honestly why I really dislike the way Rocket League can work escapes. Because Scott's Farm just had two back-to-back fantastic touches on defense to prevent any form of shot. I know your girl's my side hoe was able to counterattack quickly, but without God's Farm's touches there, that probably would have been a goal. So oh, 100 side hoe almost took another goal. Holy cow. Slim putting this back out in front. Technic able to cut that off. God's Farm puts that in front. Technic's going to play up on this wall. However, your fear is going to be the one coming in to make the touch. Only Slim puts it back. Oh, a little bit of a team bump here. Might not be okay putting Saito back on offense. Isn't really a bad idea. God's Farm with the demo. He's going to turn for some more. Slim puts it out middle. Can they get to it? They cannot. Your fear able to run that one down and get that out of the way. But Saito's going to keep this alive. Fabo put it out. Slim gets a touch, but is not there anymore. And finally, that ball is kind of cleared out. Slash Fabo putting it to the corner here. He splits the 50. They can't get it as here goes my side hose, able to take control. What an awkward touch on the side of the car here. Thankfully, God's Farm is there to reciprocate that action. Here goes my side hoe. Misses the touch, but it goes favorably into a corner. It bounces up high. Technic Music's going to be able to take a shot. Unable to put it on target, though. It's going to bounce wide into a very safe spot for Cathilla, who are immediately on the counterattack. Side hoe misses the first touch. Neither turn to get the second. Oh! What could have been goal number two for Cathilla seems to have them coming up empty handed here. I hope Technic puts it off to the side there. Fox Farm's gonna try to go up to this, does get faked out. Yerp Yerp, gonna play a little bit of possession, keeps the ball up to himself, is gonna turn on this. Zero boost, but does have plenty of time. Uh, side hope finally coming up there, but Yerp Yerp is gonna get the 50 and go out to try to get some boost. Technic pass down center, Fabo not quite able to get to it. Fox Farm's gonna take over, gets a flick over Technic, and now gets a shot over towards the corner. It's gonna bounce back out. Fabo not quite able to make the touch. A little bit of a misflip by Technic, but no one able to capitalize on that. Slim, setting it deep, might be able to follow. Can't slash uh, Fabo puts it in the half volley. That's kind of in a dangerous spot here. Godspar might be able to take a shot, does. Through two, sorry, over two. Takes it and goes 2 low. Excellent job by God's Farm. Just 
somehow get into that ball before either player from Fade gets it, gets the goal. Wins the 50, stays in the play, takes the pass off the backboard, unable to take their own pass here. It's going to drop back to your pure. Technic leaves the ball. God's farm. Gets the touch here. That's going to be off the backboard from only Slim. Yerp, you're putting it off the wall. Unfortunate. Only Slim balls your girls my side hoe. Thankfully, they're up 2 nothing with a minute left here. I don't know if this Faith team is going to be able to turn things around without a goal right here, right now. Slim, excellent job getting up there, present, preventing any sort of shot or pass. Side host can try the same thing. Oh, opportunity there for Faye. Not quite able to put it on net, though. Slim beats one, able to pick up boost, puts it off uh, the post center. Nice touch by Fabo. Saves that one. Technic as well. And now all of a sudden, Slash Fabo's going to get out in front. Can he get that on net? Looks like he can. And that's going to give a little bit of life for Faye. 21 seconds left, but now only down one goal. There's a chance. There is a chance, and with 21 seconds left, like you've mentioned many times, this is Amy. Anything can happen here. Only slip. Slash Fabo, take the 50. That goes favorably tech for this Bay team. Technic, unable to put it on target though. Your going to be able to take the follow. The demo left God's Farm alive, but unfortunately, they're not. Oh no. Oh, that was an opportunity there. Slim. Going to put this to the side. And both players fake. Cathil's going to take game number two, but I'll tell you what, there was there was an opportunity at the end of that game for Faye to put one home. I really thought we were going to see a shot, but unfortunately, an untimely flip really cut out any possibility of winning game three here. So, for sure, Cathil walk away with the win a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Game two... Uh, Tech, we watched a blowout. Game three, I didn't expect to be down to the wire like that. Well, tell you what, the stat that stands out to me, 10 shots last game, three shots this one for both teams. It is wild, honestly. I... And every, every shot was on net. You get two saves versus one. Really, going into game four here, I slash Fabo stepped up really big in game one. We're going to have to see almost a repeat of game one's performance. It looks like to beat this Cathilla team and prevent going one and three this late in the season. Honestly, like I said before, they've only got what two more match nights after tonight, right? So this every game really matters right here, right now. No, absolutely. And I think, I think you need any one of these other fake players just to, just to, Kind of pop off. Give a little bit of support. We saw Technic Music last game getting all the goals, but really Slash Fobo was, uh, or Fabo was <laughs> setting all those up. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for it. God's Farm. Wins the kickoff here. That's going to go to only Slim, who's able to take a shot, but it's cut out very quickly by Tech Music. Slash Fabo putting it off the wall here. Tries to get it past God's farm, but can't. Yerp Yerp puts it into a very good position off the corner and gets the double tap, but your girls by Sino is there to cut it out. Pushing it all the way down the field already. Technic takes possession. God's farm splits the 50 and loses. It's over to only Slim. Only Slim drops it down to Slash Fabo. Might be able to get a shot from Slash Fabo. Like, oh man, I was doing so great for so long. <laughs> you know, we're doing our best here. Technic gonna put that up. No one quite there. Only Slim not able to take it. And the demo, little opportunity to miss there as your goal is my side hoe does kick that out. Yerp Yerp's going to put that over to Fabo. Fabo's going to put that on net. Only Slim with the backflip save. And that ball's still dangerous. Clash. Going to hit that again towards the corner. It is still dangerous. Going to stay on this. Technic's going to jump in as well. Ball doesn't go where they want it to. Yerp, you don't have boost for that. And <laughs> Sido able to kind of put that ball away. Oh, man. Technic. 
Sends it deep. It's going to go off the back left corner. Going for the demo on God's Farm. It's only able to get a really stout bump. That puts God's Farm in an awkward spot here. Yerp, yerp. Puts it off the corner. It's going to bounce favorably. Rolls down Technic with the shot. Oh, my. One and goal. that's trying to break the seal here. And that's unfortunate. Yerp, yerp isn't going to be credited with the assist there, but putting it up over both Cavilla players in the corner and letting it drop right down for easy shots. No stats given. Side hill, God's Farm's gonna come chase this. Is gonna go a little bit over it. Slim, however, is gonna put that on. Technic, nice save off to the side. God's Farm's driving away from it. Side hill's gonna back up as Yerp Yerp does take to the, score, to the corner. And Technic's gonna have a potential shot here. Gonna go off the backboard. Slash, Fabo gets up and puts that in the back of the net, and all of a sudden we have a 2 0 Fabo. My goodness, Slash Fabo still making a really strong argument as to why they deserve to be MVP of the series tonight. Slash Fabo, double the stall at center. That's going to go, oh, a little wide to the right. Yerp Yerp tries to get the clear, goes over only Slim. Only Slim puts it back into Technic, who's able to get the save here. Yerp Yerp shoves it up to the backboard. It's high in the air. Only Slim sends it across. Nobody's there to take the shot. You know, I really suspected we were going to see a nice shot opportunity, but Technic stepping up, being the man of steel, shuts out all offense at this point. That's why I'm out. Only Slim with a great pass out front. Not quite able to get anything out of it. Fakes. Uh, slash Fabo. Nice demo coming out. Ball is up. God's Farm. Not quite able to put in the back of the net. Another good opportunity. Only Slim. Putting that a little bit in the wrong direction. Technic's going to jump on that quick. Ball's going to come center. God's Farm able to make the touch. Slash. Going to waterfall that ball down. Got two Cathilla players. Not sure who touched it. But the ball is going just out of the way. Technic puts the ball back center. God's Farm's going to be there. Puts that out. Slash. Putting another ball dangerous. Only Slim. Able to save that one. Side hoe. Putting it back down. Technic not quite able to control it. Looks like Slash is going to have to come up. Does get the ball up over one. Ball is off to the side now. Only Slim. Not able to get the, the touch he wants. Does get the demo. Ball is going to go off backboard. Side hoe a little bit awkward. Slash almost able to get that in, and now it finally does go in. And that's a 3 0 lead. Slash is coming alive. We, I said it before, this team was really going to be uh, on the back of Slash Fabo's offense. Last game, Slash Fabo scored their only goal within the last minute and, quite frankly, gave hope to this team. Now it's just translating as they've got two more here. That ball is going to go favorably to Yerp Yerp. Can play that a little bit, a little bit slower. Take their time. Tries to center it to a teammate, but nobody's. Nope. Never mind. Technic able to speed to the ball. That's a shot on target. Oh wow! What a shot from Technic. Floating it in there. It's a great read, especially at this level. And gets up the ball up fast. Places it right up in the top. Dog Farm doing his best to get to that, but Technic with the placements. That's going to put this game away, I believe. I think you're right, and more to that. Definitely Amy, you know, struggling sometimes with the reads, but the ability to instantly translate that into good aerial control to take the shot is always something that you... I mean, I can't, I can't say always, but it's definitely not something you always see in Amy. You know what I mean? So that really technique demonstrating a little bit of finesse here that you might not normally see. And Splash with an excellent opportunity there. Gets a little bit of an air dribble, kind of putting it on net, and then also getting the bump on the way out. Does get the save here as well. Where's God's Farm? There he is. Coming in on the side of our screen. Not quite able to put it home, though. Technic, Yerp Yerp, combining. Looks like only Slim is going to grab control of this. Not quite able to get the second touch. Actually does get a nice pop. And it's going to go up there. Ball is in the corner, though. Slash. Able to put it over side hoe. God's farm. He's gonna get that up down center. Only slim, he's off. <laughs> side hoe as well. Neither player able to put it in the net. And we got this game taken away. And that's gonna be it. We got a 2-2. 
honestly, with the way games two and three turned out, I really didn't suspect that this uh, Fate team was going to come out guns ablaze in game four. But Technic, for sure, playing both, you know, Score and Savior, and then Slash Fabo coming alive again, really paid off.